What's up, peeps? Nick Battle, a.k.a. Nino's Cornerman. First off, if you like this content that is coming your way, hit that subscribe button. It means a ton. It means a lot. It helps me grow the channel a lot. And also, folks, if you listen to this on the streaming podcast platform, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Breaker, like, comment, subscribe. It means a ton. It helps me grow the channel a lot, folks. Uh, but today, folks, we're going to talk about the D-line recruiting and a certain prospect who I think is a great prospect to you know potentially add to this class is Alex January out of Duncanville High School. Is Alex January the missing piece to the D line recruiting? Um, we'll you know talk about this subject here after um, a word from our first sponsor. Support for the Nino's Corner podcast is brought to you by BetUS.com. Hey folks, go to BetUS.com. Get yourselves a hundred and twenty five percent sign up bonus using the promo code Nino's Corner at betus.com folks that is free money 125 percent sign up bonus that means go place a bet on all your games go place a, a bet on all the fights ufc boxing uh, football baseball basketball place a bet and get yourselves 125 percent sign up bonus folks at betus.com using the promo code nino who is alex january well folks alex january is a huge human being he is a six foot five 322 pound defensive lineman out of duncanville high school out of duncanville texas the same school that my sister and brother went to uh he, he's an on three consensus a three-star recruit a national top hunt what national top 473rd ranked player in the country um the 41st uh ranked defensive lineman in the country and the number 80th ranked player in the state of texas per the on three consensus on three has them a lot higher you know highly ranked than the other um Three sites there on three has him as the top 217th ranked player in the country, the number 21 defensive lineman in the in the country, and the number 44th ranked player in the state of Texas. Alex January, folks, is um, one of those guys that is uh, a necessity here for PK's defense. When you look at PK's defense, you look at the opportunity for um bigger defensive linemen to do great things. We saw exactly what happened last year with guys like Keandre Coburn, you know, Sweat as well, mixed in with a little bit of Alfred Collins and, you know, uh, Broughton and also Byron Murphy as well. Um, but when this defense is kicking, it's when they have the big guys like the Danny Shelton that, that come and kick butt, man, um, you know, like the Vita Veyas, we're seeing those those guys do great things. Um for his defense, we saw what Coburn was able to do as a big plug at over 330 pounds last year, sweat as well. And with the recruiting last year, getting a guy like Sadir Mitchell was outstanding for Texas because it made that 2023 recruiting class a cohesive unit, uh, bringing in not only really good offensive linemen, but also coming back and back door that with good defensive linemen. The only knock I have on last year's class was that we only got Sadir Mitchell. And we, we could uh, have potentially gotten some more uh, talent at the defensive line. Now, we did hit the portal and we got a true card or coming from Minnesota, uh, but we got to continue to develop and recruit prospects to come on that defensive line. Now, in the previous year, in the 2022 class, we hauled in, I think, a pretty good class with Aaron Bryant, um, Chris Ross. Those two will be playing on the interior. I think Bledsoe was an interior guy in high school, but if I'm not mistaken, Bledsoe is now kicked out to an edge position. Uh, so he won't be, you know, manning the middle. But Aaron Bryant, uh, Chris Ross, those two coming in. You backdoor that in 23 with uh, Mitchell. And now if you can get a guy like Alex January to come in and do great things here at Texas, I think you're seeing the kind of player and the kind of mold that PK wants to be the anchor for that defense, to be right there in the middle. And Alex January at 6'5", 322 pounds. You pair that with a Sadir Mitchell from the previous year and you start to rotate those guys, and you're getting fresh 320-pound guys who, no kidding, are some outstanding athletes and some outstanding players. I think you you are seeing exactly what this Texas defense wants, and I am excited for it. Uh, let's take a look at some of the teams who wanted um, Alex January. Look, it's a who's who among schools. So, so of course, Texas wanted wanted him. Um, so um, LSU wanted him as well. Texas Tech, Florida State, SMU, Georgia, Tennessee, um, Auburn, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Miami, Louisville, Oklahoma State, TCU, Baylor, Michigan State. Can Texas uh, reel this guy in? I think this would be an awesome pick. Texas needs to, no kidding, uh, get as many defensive linemen 
talent as they can because we got to make sure that we shore those trenches up and we got to make sure that this this uh, class is going to be a very co cohesive class and a very cohesive unit uh we're not just getting skilled players and i think that's what we had a problem with with the previous uh staff was we always get a bunch of great skilled players but we didn't shore up the lines we're seeing texas is shoring up those lines on the offensive line we see that we're trying to do that for the defensive line as well but um, if we can start off by potentially getting a guy like Alex January to come in for the D-line recruiting, I think that would be outstanding. Now, he is out at Texas for the um, weekend of June 23rd for the official visit weekend for every five-star in the country, basically. is going to be there. In January, it's going to be there as well. Um, I would love to see what transpires out of that and see if if Texas does kind of close that gap some more and possibly get a potential commitment from a guy of this size and this stature standing at 6'5", 322 pounds from state champion Duncanville High School. Now, I do have a little bit of film that I want to show you guys on him. And I tell you what, he's a monster, folks. He's a monster. You got to love what you're going to see here. Let's take a look on the other side. Support for the Nino's Corner podcast is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Go to Manscaped.com, get your sales 20% off and free worldwide shipping using the promo code Nino's Corner at Manscaped.com. Again, 20% off and free worldwide shipping using the promo code Nino's Corner at Manscaped.com. Go to Manscaped.com, get your sales to fourth generation trimmer called the Lawnmower 4.0. Manscaped, folks, is the best and below-the-waist grooming champions for all men, folks. So, again, if you want their free worldwide shipping and that 20% off, go to manscaped.com, use the promo code Nino's Corner, and hook yourself All right, Alex January, defensive tackle, class of 2024. Duncanville High. We'll see him, guys. Some state champions, man. 6A first team, all state. There he is. He And, look, he's 322, but he doesn't look like a big three. He's not a big, fat Baby fat 322. He's a lean 322. For a guy that's that big, he does not look that big, which which goes to show you that he has a very athletic, twitchy frame. Look at him, man. I mean, he's 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 strong, man. He's strong, man. And he has some good quick feet for a guy that big. And he doesn't look 322, which means he's in shape. <laughs> he's about as in shape as can be for a guy that size. 6'5", 322, look here, folks. You see him plugged up next to, you know, like Severe Mitchell over the next couple of years. Could you imagine that? But Texas is in the running. There are a lot of teams in here. Tennessee wants them. Georgia wants them. When Georgia wants a defensive lineman, look here. It's hard to steer them away from Georgia. Now, Texas was able to do that last year with Severe Mitchell. So Texas is going big fish hunting, folks. Um, like Errol Spence says, he's the big fish. He's the big fish in boxing. And, and everybody in the state of Texas knows Errol Spence that – the Soto product uh, boxing champion, unified champion for the 147 pound title at Walt's weight about to fight Terrence Bud Crawford. He says he's the big fish. Like Sark is trying to be the big fish here in college football and going big fish hunting. And he doesn't care who he's going against. Is it Georgia? Is it Alabama? Is it USC? He doesn't care if he wants a kid, he's going to go and get a kid. And hopefully we can make this happen with Alex January. Now, folks, I think that's all the highlights I'm going to show here today. I'm excited uh, to see where Alex January's recruitment goes. I think he's an outstanding prospect, and he is a prospect that Texas could sorely, I mean, we could really, really use a guy like him and his size and to continue to get big run-stopping um, defensive tackles to play and man the middle of that defense and anchor the defense. And he will be an outstanding start to assuring that we continue to get those players a la Sadir Mitchell last year. But on that note, folks, man, let me know what you think. Where do you think Alex January is going to go for the 2024 cycle? If you think he's going to Texas, put up a hook in the comments. If you think he's going to your favorite school, put your, your school sign in the comments. But on that note, folks, man, I'm in this podcast, I can end all of them. Do you. Don't be afraid to fail. I'll grow your environment. Understand your brilliance. Nino's Corner, out. Hook them.